guys, um, this is one of the three testing videos that I'm going to be making of the smoke alarms that I unboxed in my previous video. <coughs> now, I've got a little bit of a cold, so that's why I sound funny, and I've got a sore throat, so I'm probably going to be coughing a lot. Um, anyway, this is the very first smoke detector I unboxed. This is the Pyrotector, the Heath kit made by Pyrotector, um, 30-77L. Um, and this one is a photoelectric smoke detector. Uh, let me just get, hang on, get down here. So, um, it's got, as you can see, it's rectangular, like, a they, they, there were a lot of smoke alarm models back in the day that were rectangular, like, um, <coughs> the GEs and the smoke guards and the West Clocks, you know, other smoke alarms like that, um, and this right here is the LED, and it flashes once every eight or so seconds. I don't know if it's going to flash. Yep, there it is. It just flashed. Um, so it flashes every eight or nine seconds. I think I timed it. And then this is, of course, the horn output hole and the um, test button right here. And, of course, on the side you'll see there are two vents on the bottom, three vents on the side, and then, of course, two and three again. On the back is, this is the mounting bracket right here, and it slides off. I might need another hand. As you can see, it slides off. There's the back of the mounting bracket to reveal the labeling and the battery. And this screen right here is the smoke inlet. It's basically there just to prevent any dust or any foreign objects from getting into the sensor chamber and accidentally triggering a false alarm. So right up here is the battery. Uh, as you can see, it's just a regular, just takes a regular 9 volt. Um, I'm going to turn it around here. Yeah, just a regular 9 volt I've got in there right now. Um, <coughs> and here's the labeling, as you can see. The Pyrotector, model 30-77L, chloride pyrotector, um, Hingham, Massachusetts, Sea Owner's Manual 5005-69 and Supplement 5005-1039. Warning, use only batteries specified. Use of a different battery may have detrimental, defect, detrimental effect on detector operation. Um, and there's no real date code on here. Oh, and there's also information molded onto the plastic, such as... Um, well, the type of battery to use is a 9-volt Mallory MN1064. Of course, that's a Duracell. Um, alarm output interrupted signal. 1.5 seconds on, 1 second off. Low battery horn blips once every 8 seconds. Weekly test, push test button, holds 20 seconds until alarm sounds. Um, and then see owner's manual, other stuff. Um... High temperature and or high humidity may shorten battery life. And then down here is the UL label inside the battery compartment. It's single and or multiple station smoke detector issue number 6168. So um, there's no date code on it or anything, but it was made around the 1970s, probably 75 or so, late, early, mid to late 70s. Um, so here's the, the mounting bracket, as you can see. It says, for wall mounting, this end up, see owner's, see owner's manual for other mounting positions. And it's got two holes here that you're supposed to mount it with, these two holes right here. And then this is just in case you were to hang it just like a regular on the wall, like a picture or something. So, um, the cover can come off of this, actually. I'm going to take the battery out first before I take the cover off. Let's take the battery out like that. And discharge. Oh, camera fell. Okay, I just had it propped up here like that. I knew that was going to happen. I don't know why I. There. Hopefully that won't fall again. So, um, the cover can come off if I get a screwdriver. I'll just use 
I'll just use my pocket knife because I lost my screwdriver again. I lose that thing like three times every day. I don't know why. So, oh, no, don't fall, please. Okay, so the cover can come off. If you, there's four clips on the, um, the detector base that hold the cover in place. Um, if you take a screwdriver and just loosen those four clips, you can easily remove the cover. And I guess this is what you're supposed to do if you, if you need to clean it. Because there are slotted indentations there. So that you can get a screwdriver in there. And now the cover lifts off. And here's the inside. Um, you can see the LED right there. Of course there's the horn. This one has the, the star horn. The same one that was used in the GEs. And here's the sensor chamber right here. And this is the actual place where the infrared LED is and the photoelectric sensor. Um, here's the test button right here. It actually goes into the the light chamber here. And it also goes into the... it. it when you push it down, it, it pushes a little tab. It like kind of kicks a little tab out into the sensor chamber. So this is the sensor right here. It's got a yellow sticker that says the letter B on it that's handwritten. I don't know what that's for. Um, and yeah, a little sticky adhesive pad right there. And oh, there's more of that mesh stuff on top and on all the basically all the openings to the sensor chamber. Um, so yeah, and then of course here's the circuitry. It's got a very big circuit board in it. So I'll put the cover back on. And the battery. get it in there. There. And then the mounting bracket just slides on oh, the other way. Slides on oh, oh other other way. Ugh, oh my god, really? Okay. Oh, it goes this way. There. Okay. Just want to make sure it's working. See if the LED will flash. Oh, yep, the LED flash. Okay, so now we're going to test it. Now, it takes a very long time for it to test because it's a photoelectric. So I'm going to cover my ears here because it's very loud and it'll scare me. So let's give it a test. And you got to push a little bit hard on the test button as well. And it'll do that coating that it said on the back. 1.5 second on, 1 second off. goes. And then when you release the button, it'll do one very long blast. So, it's not exactly 1.5 second on, 1.1 second off. It's kind of more like 2 seconds on, 1.5 second off, or something like that. I don't really know. Let's test it once more. Pyrotector. Well, Heath kit made by Pyrotector. Uh, 30-77L. And also, one other thing, the horn, the, the, the fact that this has a mechanical horn, yet makes a pulsating tone, has a pulsating pattern to it, is very rare. It's very uncommon for a smoke detector with a mechanical horn to have a pulsing to it. So, um, anything else?
So yeah, it's not that the unit actually isn't labeled Heath Kit, but these are made, these are sold as Heath Kit units. So that's the Heath Kit Pyrotector 30-77L. Thanks for watching and more to come.